It's reported that Meghan Markle is now writing a book on female empowerment. It's been suggested to her that she include a chapter on Catherine, the Princess of Wales. To my mind, this sounds like uh, Meghan's version of Spotify, uh, where she had a number of high-profile women who were very successful in their chosen endeavours. Megan's brand of feminism really needs to be examined because in her Spotify, it became apparent very, very quickly that she would turn the conversation back to herself and in doing so, she would then air her grievances and it's not feminism. The most astonishing thing about that whole Spotify deal was one of the senior executives coming out and lambasting them as effing grifters. So who wants that on their CV? But this is Megan's CV. We have to look at her achievements in the feminist space. Her main claim to feminism was her commercial at 11 years of age, where she complained to uh, the company that it's not only women in the kitchen, you know, fighting greasy pots and pans all over the world. Well, this is where Megan is. She's Her brand of feminism is regressive because women, I don't know where she's living because women are working. Uh, there's a very, there's a, a high number of um, female senior executives, very successful, uh, particularly lawyers. And in the one space where she wants to shut women down is online. She wants to shut down women's voices. Now, the amplification of women's voices is the core tenet of feminism. Yet Megan wants to shut down that debate. She makes no bones about it, that she sees online debate as a threat. But who is it a threat to, really? What are we really looking at here, Megan? You know, Megan's brand of feminism is regressive and it's a perpetual advancing of her grievances. It's, it, it is unceasing victimhood, which is not what feminism was originally about. It is about overcoming. But because she has a really fragile ego, she can't enter into the discussion. She can't enter into the debate. She can only shut it down. I leave it there with you. You know, there's two issues there. The idea that she would include a chapter of Catherine, the Princess of Wales. What is that about? I think she's just shown her hand there. But the real issue for me is, is um, her regressive brand of feminism that can't stop airing her grievances, won't move on. But this is Megan's brand of feminism. It's all about attention seeking. But this brand of feminism of perpetual grievance is regressive. And it's uh, a brand of feminism that I believe a lot of young women today reject. I believe it hurts feminism. I do believe that. Whether you're a feminist or not, this brand of feminism is purely self-serving and uh, does very little to advance the empowerment of women.